Hey guys, Brox here doing a Grey Zone Warfare video. One of my more recent videos was talking about doing a wipe sooner than later, and a lot of people seem to be really afraid of wiping and what it means. So I wanted to prove that it's actually a good thing. So I'm wiping my level 32 character uh, that was pretty much maxed out, all vendors maxed out, and, and was pretty much near the end end of end game. And it just said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna start over. So, doing it for a couple reasons. Number one, Lemang and Crimson are bait. Mithras own the end game. The, the entire end game zones are on the Mithras side of the map. So, I wanted to better structure myself for PvP in that regard. So you're going to see me switch to Mithras here and then two, I wanted to get practice in on going really fast through the early game just to practice for all future wipes and just being able to get out of the starter town really quickly and see how I could do that. Now that wasn't without some issues, as you can imagine the bots are still a struggle so in this clip here the bots gonna like slide left to right really fast and it's really hard to just predict sometimes what the bots are going to do. Then you have the circumstances of bots that don't have armor, no shirt, no armor, no hat, uh, tanking bullets, three, four, five bullets straight to the chest and then hit you in return, right? Like bots that should go down, don't go down. And then you question, you know, why? Like they don't have armor on, they don't have a shirt on, they don't have a helmet on, and yet they're tanking bullets left and right. So that's still an issue. Here in this clip in Hunter's Paradise, I'm creeping up, just walking, not sprinting, and a bot from behind a wall aggroes me from like 40 meters away. It's super strange. Don't know how he even picked up that I was in the woods, but he came running out to try to kill me. And then in this clip, a bot tanks 30 round mag of bullets and the last bullet actually kills him, which is just insane. So there's still those issues. But at the end of the day, uh, in one sitting in a handful of hours, I got to level eight and over a hundred thousand dollars. I did it all on a single kit. I did not have to rebuy a kit at all. I have multiple keys of everything in the starter town and in Hunter's Paradise, except for room 104. But yeah, so essentially knowledge is power. The first time playing through the game was a lot of learning, like learning how to how to actually approach missions and tasks, how to approach the game itself, how to customize guns to make them function, what guns are good, what ammo is good. And what it come to find out and what actually matters is that knowledge translates into the next wipe. Because now that I know how to approach bots, how to approach tasks, how to build guns correctly so that they're efficient, which ammo to be using uh, the entire time, which guns not to pick up, which guns not to use, makes a world of difference. In just a handful of hours, I had a starter kit, which is starter M4 with an ACOG on it, and that I built a little bit from the money that I start with, and was able to full clear the first town no issues at all like uh, all tasks I think I died from uh, the start of this to the level 8 in Hunter's Paradise I died three times to bots the first one I, I really don't even want to count it because it was kind of a weird death where I opened a door it pushed a bot behind the door but the bot didn't make any noise so it didn't say any voice lines, it didn't make a sound, and when I went through the door it just shot me in the back of the head. So there was no way I could know it was there. That was the first death. The second death was also a little bit odd, where I took a shot from a random location to my uh, chest armor, but it, it put me in a coma with a light bleed and a light bruise. So as soon as I hit the ground on the coma, the bleed went away. And the only status effect I had was that I was hurt at the orange, yellow, orange level. So I had in my head, I was like, I was full blood. You know, I don't know how this knocked me all the way to a coma. And then I was like, I wonder if you can self get up out of a coma if you're not bleeding anymore. So if you're actually gaining blood back, can you actually get up? The answer is no. But when I actually died out, I didn't even have a bullet hit. I was just bruised. So that was a really strange one. I didn't quite understand how or why I went down in that circumstance. And then the last one was an actual death, which was in Hunter's Paradise much later on. 
I wrapped a corner, a guy with a shotgun was standing there and I had a four times ACOG uh, M4 still. I didn't have the Spectre M4 yet. And it was just too much zoom for how close he was and he just shotgunned me in the chest and I died. But in all three circumstances, I was able to go get my kit back. So I was able to get the starter kit that I had and that kit lasted me from level one all the way to level eight. So no issues at all. Didn't have to rebuy a gun, didn't have to rebuy armor, didn't have to rebuy literally anything. And with doing all the tasks and not having to spend any money outside of ammunition, that was the only thing I actually spent money on was ammo. I was able to get over a hundred thousand dollars by level eight. So probably three tasks in the hunter's paradise. I was almost a hundred and ten thousand dollars into uh, funds. Um, and that's completely solo, no teaming, just me, you know, trying to self speed run as acting as if it was a new wipe, a fresh wipe. How could I do it? How much more efficient could I be? How much more money could I get not having to rebuy guns or rebuy anything? Uh, you know, how could I optimize, what I'm wearing, what chest armor I'm wearing, what helmets am I wearing, building the gun correctly so that it's efficient, and how, where does that get you? So I, I wanted to show you guys this video because I think a lot of people are like, oh my god, I'm so scared of a wipe, you know, it's, I, I don't want to do this all over again. The, the thing you're not accounting for is you're going to have so much more knowledge going in a second time, not just of like where task locations are and stuff, you're just going to have more knowledge of like how the game works to the point where you'll be so far ahead by the time you're not even level 10. At this point, I mean, um, my tasks now are Banpa, Hunter's Paradise, and YBL. And I'm sure at some point I'm going to run into PvP, uh, especially at YBL, or run into like a weird circumstance where I'm not going to be able to get my kit back. But it hasn't happened yet. And this is all on a PvP server, so I'm not on PvE only. This is PvP. If I run into PvP, I run into PvP. Um, I'm also not taking any handouts from anybody, not picking up any dropped loot. The only thing that I allow myself to obviously take is if I kill someone in PvP, I can take their kit, their gear, and bring it back. But at this point, I haven't had a, a, any PvP conflicts at Hunter's Paradise. I cleared Hunter's Paradise three times in full, so all bots in full. That's how I have duplicates of almost every key except for HP 104. I don't have the 104 key yet. But yeah, so essentially, you, you just get better, like with the knowledge. I think I could easily get to 200k by level 15 with how much money I'm getting from tasks now. And probably, again, if I don't run into like crazy PvP and YBL, I probably can still do it on one kit and not even, you know, and have so many backup M4s from the tasks giving you so many M4s that, you know, even if something happens, I'm gonna have so much, I'm not even gonna have to spend any money. So the video really is just to say that there's, there's nothing to be afraid of with wiping the game and fixing the economy because you're gonna be better at the game the second time around and you're gonna feel better about it the second time around. Plus it resets like the, the PVP locations if you do it on PVP. So more people will be at the locations as you get to them. So Hunter's Paradise will have conflicts again. Bampa will have conflicts again, where it's not just people, you know, juiced up going in and just camping like YBLLZs and stuff. It's just food for thought for everybody. I'm gonna keep going with this obviously because I wanna see how far I can get one kit to go and when I lose that first kit that I have. And then after that, um, you know, how, how fast can I get back up to like level 30 or tier three guns? Right now I'm at that point where I unlocked gunny. Oh, this is probably important too. I unlocked gunny level two and I'm close to handshake level two, but by level eight, I already had gunny level two unlocked, which means I already have silencers, M855 with the green tips. So M855 with the green tips. I also have the full loadout for the standard build. Um, for the best level two weapon, of course, because I have the money to, to build a perfect M4. So pretty much for the next 22 levels, I already have everything kind of situated by level eight. So by level eight for 22 more levels until Gunny is level three, because it happens around level 30, I will pretty much have everything I need from a gun's perspective. The only thing I need to do is get Handshake to level three so that I can have the tier two armor. 
I'm sorry, tier, uh, get handshake to level two so I can have the tier two armor, be able to buy it and not just get it from tasks. But as you can see, I have spares of it, so I can easily use those spares until I get him unlocked to have the, the Lancer plates. And then after that, it's really just a grind out to, to beat the game again. So beat all the tasks and get back to Tiger Bay and Midnight Sapphire. I would definitely say I'm having a lot more fun this second time around because it's no longer frustrating because I kind of know all the ins and outs. Whereas the first time through is very frustrating, not knowing that picking up ground load AKs was really terrible, not knowing pistols were really terrible, not knowing that the VZ-61 is really terrible and all these like traps that would lose you kits or cause you frustrations. Knowing like use this, it's going to work, it's going to be efficient, is really making the second playthrough a lot better. So. Food, again, for thought for people who are afraid of, you know, wipes and, and what wipes may look like. I think you'd actually have more fun the second time around. I'm having a lot more fun this second time around because I know how to efficiently kind of approach each POI and kind of like where everything is, what I need to be doing while I'm there. And that's making for a better overall experience. So just thought I'd share this with you guys. Any questions, of course, just let me know. But I would say give it a shot. If, if you guys are getting bored with your level 30 characters, try to re restart, restart and set a goal for yourself that, you know, you're not going to take handouts. You're not going to take duplicated money or duplicated guns. You're not going to steal any MK18 kits off the guards in your base. And you're actually going to try to treat it like it was a true wipe and see how fast you can get out of the first town and how far you can take one kit. I think you'd be surprised how much more fun you'd have that way. So hope this helps. Have a great day.